Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Never Seven, The Out of Infinity. Dang it. The end of infinity. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start it over. I should, but oh, who cares, who cares? All right, the end of infinity. Uh, last time, there was the bet with Makoto and Yuka about who would uh, win at tennis, the second match, and Yuka won, and there was a weird flashback deja vu possibility. It seemed like it wasn't really deja vu, but somehow uh, Makoto saw Haruka, fly, Haruka fall twice. Mm, yeah, somehow that happened. And then they came to this place. Well, you know what happened. Why am I doing this? I don't... I'm kind of get doing this to get my brain set on the current episode. But you guys know what happened, so let's... Let's just get on with it. Finally, Haruka nods, but it seems that she's reluctant. She's just tired, that might be. It... She did this earlier at tennis, and she was alone even at the lodge. The girl's inexperienced with interacting with people, so this camp must be a tiring experience. The way Haruka glares at the delivery girl irks me a bit, but I think it's probably because of her aforementioned exhaustion. Mm. Yes. Huh? Yeah, it looks that way. The girl replies to my answer with a satisfied smile. The girl guides us through Luna Beach's uh, entrance. Chan. Which one is that? Is that brother or sister? I can't remember. Sister, okay. The one behind the counter gives us a welcoming smile. She looks like she looks like she's in her early twenties. Short hair and apron suit her well. She gives me the impression of having a rather motherly aura. Um you said Oni Chan. Does this mean that you two are sisters? What is the word for brother? It's very similar, isn't it? Is it o N I? Or is it monster? Like I said, I've tried to learn a little Japanese a few years ago, but I barely remember words in English, so let alone another language. The girl called Kurumi sticks out her chest and giggles. I don't know if that's really something to be proud about. Huh? Haruka? Is it my imagination? I thought I saw Haruka give the woman behind the counter a terribly flustered look. She's giving looks to everybody, isn't she? It's in Haruka's mind, it must be free look day. Haruka is silently staring out the window at the scenery. Her face is expressionless. She's like a soulless doll. So it really was my imagination after all. Ah, uh, <laughs> Guess Okuhiko's uh, voice actor was not available for the home. Oh, you must be talking about the Kurumi's voice actor. The woman named Izumi urges the girl to introduce herself. Ah, eh, モリの君です。今学校がお休みなので、お姉ちゃんのところに遊びに来てるの。お店が忙しい時はいろいろとお手伝いとかもしてるんだよ。今日もお昼に団体客が入って、くるみがいなかったら本当にどうなってたことやら
You can pat Kirby's head and rustles through her hair. She says that, yet she looks quite the opposite as she enjoys having her head patted. Spoil a child too much and she'll grow up spoiled. Well, that's my outside opinion. Izumi Marino san and Kirumi Marino. The Marino sister the Marino sisters, huh? Huh? Marino. Are they related to the football player? Lame joke. Surname Marino triggers something within me. Branch off a of lame joke. Were they in a Ace Ventura movie? Yeah. Where have I heard it before? It's been a while since I've seen that movie. Is it just my imagination? Before long, Izumi san explains to us that the real shop manager is absent because he's in Italy shopping for tableware. Sounds like an excuse to get out of the place right there. I'm going way to another country to buy tableware. What is tableware? It would be silverware. What what would tableware be? Would it be stuff you put on a table? I mean, what is what, what is stuff you put on a table? I mean, the uh, placemats and the the doilies is is that a word? Doily that's that's a word, right? Doily something like that. Uh, maybe the thing of fake fruit. Maybe it's real fruit. Maybe fruit's really good in Italy, and they're going to Italy to get, to, to, to get the good fruit to bring. Sounds like an excuse to get away. Yeah, I'm going there for business. It ain't a vacation. I'm not leaving you guys. For, for me being lazy. So for now, Izumi is managing all by herself. The owner apparently often leaves the store unsupervised for trips. This guy's a lazy bone. Move on to this place. Izumi san says this with a sweet smile. A gentle grin and her older woman charm causes my heart to start pounding. I try to distract myself by surveying the shop. This guy has a wandering mind today. In, the, in this game. Interior and exterior look like they were inspired by an Italian restaurant. The seats by the counter and tables, as well as the fixtures placed here and there, go well with the store's atmosphere. Guess the wall is an old-fashioned jukebox, where an old jazz hit from several decades ago is playing. The store's interior is rather relaxing. I would hope it would be. You know, it wouldn't be a very good place to eat if, you know, if you, if it wasn't relaxing, you know. <laughs> if it was sudden, loud noises. All the, time, all the time, you know. From the window facing the sea, you can see the coast of Moon Beach, giving the narrow shop's interior a sense of depth and openness. There's a door in the back which seems to lead to an open terrace outside. However, the restaurant's counter gives me the impression that the place could easily be mistaken for a bar. Izumi san explains this when she notices me observing the shop's layout. Oh, am I that easy to read? Is, is that so? Wow. Give a big nod and verdict my eyes. Fear that if I look into Izumi san's eyes right now, she'll read my mind. This time I decide to face Kurumi. So today, Kurumi chan is now what year? When I look over, I see Okuhiko talking to Kurumi. そうかそうか、中学三年なんだ。そろそろ高校受験か。<笑>大変だね。違うよ。中学じゃなくて高校三年生。<笑> He's looking really shocked.、Uh, my face twists in shock. Okuhiko is also gaping in surprise. She delivered a pizza. We were both under the impression that she was in middle school. Her cheeks puff out in protest. Does she have some sort of complex about her childish appearance? Though she is rather baby-faced. So you are not a tattoo? 
見たところ大学生って感じだけど。ジミさん、アスタスです。アスタスです。With a smile. そうですね。私たちもちゃんと自己紹介しないと。You can clear the throat with a smile cough before promptly doing so. She tells her how we're, we'll be juniors in college. That we're all members of the same seminar. That we're currently staying at a nearby lodge for a seminar camp. She explains everything. George would give, both give her names. You can tell me, Makoto Kun, eh? よし覚えたくるみも覚えたよで彼女が「Hey Haruka g i v i n g on a cold shoulder Haruka silently continues to stare at the scenery at the scenery out of the window あえー、えー、っと彼女は同じ班のメンバーで樋口遥私たちよりも一つ年は下なんだけど、飛び級して同学年になったの。ね、はるか。Hmm, they m e n t i o n that. Skip the grade, that means she's smart. まあ、ちょっと人見知りが激しいみたいで、こんな風に合いそうがないように見えるけど、根はものすごくいい子だから。Really? How can you really know that? She might like, like stab people. You know, I don't know. Yuka's desperately trying to support Haruka. However, the girl herself shows no sign of entertaining Yuka's limbs. So, ne? Wakatte ru. Izumi Sen smiles, undaunted by her, Haruka's behavior. It's hard to tell if she really does. Haruka san da ne? Yoroshiku! Kurumi holds out her hand, awaiting a handshake from Haruka. Haruka glances at Kurumi but turns back towards the window again. Another cold shoulder she could lock up. Like a grater, make like a snow cone, you know, on her shoulder. Full of lame jokes. Today, you know. Haruka? Despite Yuka's urgings, Haruka doesn't even twitch. Kurumi uneasily pulls back her outstretched hand and scratches her head. Despite Haruka's rudeness, a gentle smile rises on Izumi san's face as she looks towards her. The atmosphere is quite the awkward one. Obviously. Oh, great. Okiko loudly draws attention to himself in an attempt to wipe out the heavy atmosphere. A sudden burst causes all of us, except for Haruka, to turn their attention towards him. Just because he feels left out doesn't mean he has to be an attention to her about it. いつも爽やか好青年、生きれいなせで涙にゃもろい、地球の平和を守るため、神が送った正義の戦士、その名を、飯田奥彦だ。Why he doesn't think too much of himself, that he, uh, he's a very humble guy, you know. What's that sound of? Kurumi and Izumi san tilt their heads in confusion and stare at Okuhiko, who splurts this out. It was so impatient to talk that he had just spontaneously shouted his nonsense. After hearing such a ridiculous introduction, Izumi san is desperately trying to keep herself from laughing. However, for some reason, Okuhiko's words have left Kurumi dumbfounded. I'm taken aback by Kurumi's words. Damn it, Uncle Hiko. When you said t h e s pizza, you introduced yourself as a s e k u r a Uncle Hiko seems to have realized this too as his body stiffens. I'm shocked, speechless. Eh? Saki wa tashka. Asakura te? Eh, iya. Aare wa. Uncle Hiko looks at me. I turn my head away to ignore him. It was his plan. Why should I have to help him? At that moment, the door is violently thrown open. Crap, I was talking about cliffhangers last time. This is a cliffhanger. But it's only 15 minutes in. Dang it. We all turn around in surprise. Sitting there is a girl with her hair tied up in a ponytail with new theme music to boot. Uh oh. 
So, I believe the metaphorical shit is about to hit the metaphorical fan. The girl scene, uh, scans all of us. Even though she's not really that tall, I feel like I'm being looked down upon. Hi, Mizumi san answers this with a vacant expression. As if she's not intimidated by this rich looking girl, she's really something. Crowd. She suddenly shouts. We're all frozen in place. Now she's realized how uneasy we are, for the girl takes in a deep breath. She seems to have calmed down a bit. So her name is Saki. It's in her home, huh? She does just... <coughs> Excuse me. It's in her home, huh? She doesn't look just wealthy. She does just look wealthy. She is wealthy. <laughs> and I guess that means that, uh... What is the guy's freaking name? Okuhiko, right? Is it Okuhiko? Oh, good grief. I forgot his name. Koto Yuka. I can remember some of the names. Just read them. <laughs> uh, seems like he can probably. He might be able to buy his way out. Wait a second. I was thinking that... Okay, well, I was thinking something completely wrong then. I was thinking that Okuhiko had called this place, the pizza place, and ordered a pizza with a, with a different name. That's what, that was what my impression was. And I was thinking he was also hoping that if he had feigned ignorance that, that uh, Makoto would have paid for it when she got there, which is why he said, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. So, huh. He's only slightly shady, or more shady. What would be more shady? Ordering a pizza under a false name? And also, after getting out of Yuka's meal or actually paying for a pizza but making another customer another person who wanted a pizza not get theirs not sure which would be shadier he's a shady guy he's a shady guy anyway huh? pizza you waited that long? ずいぶん暇な人種もいるものだな。あなたたちとは話してません。僕も別に君と話しているつもりはないな。何を言っているのか。私が言っているまで話さないで。いいわ。うっす。あ。Saki so gives me a dirty look. In response to that intense glare eye. I think I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. She looks like she's gonna punch me in the nose. And other parts of my face. And possibly my gut. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Keep my mouth shut. Give me a brief glance, Yuka takes a deep breath and stares at Saki. She looks surprised. I hear Okuhiko snort as if to say, Saki doesn't seem very pleased by my words. Naturally, Haruka has been looking downwards this whole time. So, what is going on? Saki immediately leans her body forward on the counter. She's got the uh, frowny face, not only on her actual face, but on her finger. So that's like the double frowny intimidation 
maneuver. I mean, she's gonna get her way, probably. Tuck so immediately leans her body forward. Oh, I just read that, didn't I? Looks like she's going to continue nagging Izumi san. で、6時間も何してたのかしら。待ってましたよ。6時間も。まさか。私だってそんな暇じゃありません。Mitsu, is trying to be polite, but her tone is uh, how do I put it? Listless. You know, her words only seem to fuel Saki's irritation. けど、私がピザ頼んだのちゃんと分かってるのよ。言葉が通じなくても。Yes. However, Izumi san just nods at everything she says. I don't understand this. Does Izumi san really get it? But then Karumi approaches her sister. Yeah, I want to ask her that too. Izumi san whispers back to Karumi. Yet that what? Eh, Nano Hanasi? She got an acara, Konoma Kito Tagirino. Go you tighter, Shabirita, the Kishabeba Kaidun the Kara. So they made a gunner and gunner. Ne? You know, it's good customer service tale. Sometimes, yeah. I see, that's quite an impressive way to handle it. どうしてがまんなんかしなくちゃいけないのだってこっちが配達間違えちゃったんだからえー、くるみちゃんと届けたよ大声出さないのくるみが間違えてなきゃなんでこうなるの痛いお姉ちゃんくるみのこと疑
He's the one. Oh. So everything may have started with Yuka's cooking. Yes, it. Let's blame Yuka. Let's blame everybody but yourself. Oh, oh. Sakura immediately closes in on Okuhiko when suddenly Yuka speaks up. Saki the Yotoste Ano Asakura Saki san? ほら、中学の頃一緒だった。えっと、なんだっけ。何かの行事の時、ほら、一緒に魔法使いの絵描いたじゃない。ゆうか。やっぱりさっき久しぶり。何年ぶりだっけ。私は経済の高等部に入
challenge on because she'll just be like, block every single shot. So, I guess this is a good cut off place as any. Uh, that's a cliffhanger. Will everything go well enough at the at the at the mill? Will Saki forget about Hokuhiko's uh, uh, stealing her pizza? Well, like I said, she didn't pay money for it, so that means still that's wrong. So, will will that happen? Will Okuhiko get punched in the face? Find out next time on Never Seven: The End of Infinity. The end of Infinity. Um. Anyway, we hope you folks enjoy it, and I, I will see you in the next one. Farewell, there, folks.